great Sunday morning, January 12th. Happy birthday, Nisi. I don't know how old you are, maybe mid-20s, but God is with you and he'll bless you today. And he'll bless all of us as we start our a time with the Lord. And I woke up, I was like, Lord, should I do this? Should I do that? When? Because I have some errands to do this morning. And I was like, I need your direction. I remember after dropping off my son yesterday and deciding if I should stay at a hotel or should I try to trek it back to Chicago in the weather. And I was just trying to decipher his voice. And when he told me, no, Michelle, go, just go back. And I was like, yeah, whatever is the least amount of stress. I don't want to, you know, try to think about that, you know, early Sunday morning and what have you. But my son was like, uh, did you hear from the Lord? And I was like, yeah, I'm sensing his voice. Well, it is his pleasure. The Lord's pleasure is to give help, assistance, direction to his people. He does not want us to feel and carry those burdens. No, no. No, he is the one who is stronger than us and wiser than us. We would have been in Psalms 46 today because yesterday was Psalms 45. And we know how that chapter starts. God is our refuge, a very present help. Yes, in the time of trouble, in the time of indecision, in the time of question, whatever. He is our help. Let's rely on him. Verse 5 really blessed me this morning. He said, because I am here for you, Michelle, I am in the midst of you. I'm right there in you. And because of that, <clears throat> you shall not be moved. I will help you, says God shall help her, and that right early early in the day, early in a situation, <clears throat> but we might not know the answer. We have to wait on the Lord. So that's where the last verse comes into play, right? Be still. The last verse, well, second to last, verse 10, be still and know that I am God, right? Before he will be exalted. His will will be exalted. His plans will be exalted, but know that he is right there with you. And because today is January 12th, we would have gone to Psalms 42, and that's reiterated. And I just noticed this this, this morning in verse 5, and I was like, oh, Lord, I think I knew this before, but I forgot. Where it says, when David is asking, or the psalmist is asking a question, why are you sad? So why are thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. A lot of times I say that he will help our countenance, but it is God who smiles on us and transfers his direction, his wisdom, his strength to us. And he is the help. <clears throat> and he gives us his leading and guiding. His countenance, his smile shines on us. And then we are glad from there. Amen. We're glad that he is in the midst of us. We don't have to go at this journey alone. Single mother, huh? Do you know how difficult it is to try to maneuver and try to raise kids alone? What? But do you know that God promises that when you give your life to him, give your life back to him, your heart to him, he will be in the midst of you and he will make decisions for you. He will direct you. Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who only doeth wondrous things. Nothing short of that. That's Psalm 72, 18. So let's look up. Let's not try to do this on our own. For he is the one who will guide us in all those decisions. Amen. We do not have to be overwhelmed. And in Psalms 12, I believe, I'm not sure. Yeah, it would have been Psalms 12. Just know that the Lord is faithful among his children. And we don't have to rely on, 
you know, fickle, fickleness, no, of hearts of men. No, he will be the one to strengthen us and to help us right early. All right. Enjoy worship, preparing for another day of God's faithfulness. Good day.